in this film I'm going to have a look at the Railcom signal that uh, the new lens units broadcast. Railcom is bi-directional communication so normally on a digital system the instructions come from the, the base unit and go to the rails so instructions go out locomotive and uh, accessory decoders respond to those instructions only if they're addressed to them no information comes back from the layout otherwise what railcom does is actually allow signals to be sent back from the locomotive decoders so on this section of track here i've got some insulated joints here and i've fitted a lens LRC120 Railcom display. So if we turn the track power on, it will flash up lens on the screen, and then a solid bar that stays on shows that Railcom has been broadcast. Um, you can turn Railcom on and off with the lens system. So if I Turn this around so you can see the red LED. So we go into the configuration of the base unit to turn Railcom off first. So if we go press F, we go to programming on main, POM, CV, enter, CV7, enter, 50. When I enter this, the LED will begin flashing on the unit. If I press clear, and put in a value of 92. 92 will turn off Railcom. So you see that the light comes back steady here. And my Railcom reader goes, oh, there's no Railcom signal, so I'm just going to flash. So what we're going to do is turn Railcom back on. So... Programming on main, CV7, value 50, and the light will flash again. Press clear, and value 93, and enter. And now Railcom is turned on. So, finish for that. And you see that the bar is stable on there to say that the Railcom signal is on. And we'll get to the, the point of what all that was about. So. The decoder within this locomotive here is sending back Railcom information. So when I drive the loco into the measured section, the address pops up. Look at that, 251, which coincidentally is what we've got on the screen. We drive out of the section again, that will turn off. So you can use it just as a pure detection thing. It will detect the address of the locomotive that's in that uh, isolated section. And you could show where locos are all the way around the layout using a number of these little displays. But that's only the start of Railcom. Um, another useful feature from it is that when you're using programming on main to set up locomotive decoders, we're going to CV, let's look at CV8, which is a manufacturer's ID, and for lengths it should be 99. Look on the display, it flashes C99 when you go into it. I'll do that again just quickly, so CV8 for manufacturer's ID. If we look at the display when I enter that, C equals 99. So you can actually read back some of the CVs, which you can't normally do uh, when you're on the main track. So if we have a look, for instance, at acceleration delay, so CV3, it's got a value of 10 there. If I change that to 50, look, flashes C equals 50 on the little display. So it's confirmed that I've made that change. And the first thing you'll see when I come back to the loco is, oh look, I've changed the acceleration delay. So that's, it's a handy little device to aid programming on main as well.
So another feature of the Railcom display is that it will tell you what address a loco is on if you've perhaps forgotten it. So the, again, this is only with Railcom enabled decoders. So the first loco I looked at had a Lens decoder, which has Railcom. This one is an ESU version 4. Sorry, version 3.5 doesn't have Railcom, but version 4 does. So, pop this down on the track. And on the display there, it's come up immediately showing me that I've left the address on 2311. So I can now go to my controller, 11, and pick up a number of functions. She goes. So I'll just have a quick look at programming on main and again so POM CV number eight. So I want to find out what manufacturer decoder that's in there. Eight C equals one five one. So that's the manufacturer ID for ESU. So I'm just looking at a third manufacturer who has uh, used Railcom and that is Zemo. So currently in Roco sound chips. So this little loco here has come up address 3. It's a Zemo sound chip. Again we can have a look at the manufacturer's ID just to confirm that. So you can So 145 is the ID for Zemo. So there's a few European manufacturers using Wellcom and if your system is entirely Wellcom then there are a few advantages to using it. Again, this information can be passed to a computer as well.